What's up, guys? NBA talk. Um, game, new game seven. Game seven is coming. Um, Miami Heat able to win this game. Um, one hundred three to ninety one. A much improved Miami Heat playing crazy defense, uh, especially in that fourth quarter, getting some blocks in. Um, uh, they cut off their turnovers, which was a great. Great, great improvement because the turnovers were really killing them for the past couple of games, and it's kept the Toronto Raptors in in always in the game, even though they were still sort of in the game. And I think the largest has been it was like ten to fifteen, but it was still reachable for the Toronto Raptors. It's just that the Miami Heat was able to stop them. Um. You have Drogic leading the team with 30 points. Uh, second is D Dwayne Wade, 22 points, and played very good defense uh, with three block shots. Um, he also picked up five assists as well and six rebounds. Uh, Winslow filling in for the center spot, even though he was in foul trouble. He played very good on the offensive end. Four out of nine shooting, 12 points. He made a three-pointer, which is a huge plus. Um, Luau Dane very, did very good on the defensive end, eight rebounds and a block shot in, in the fourth quarter. Even though, yeah, he didn't play good on the offensive end, one out of five, but as long as you do it on the other end, it's pretty good. Uh, Joe Johnson, um, a little better on the offensive end. He shot five out of ten, which is a step up from four out of eleven. Uh, for the past couple of games, but it is what it is. 13 points from him, 47% from the field, 35% from the three-point range, 41 rebounds, 15 assists, all from Miami, Miami Heat's overall stats, and seven turnovers, which is a crazy improvement. Cutting down the turnovers was a huge plus for them. So congratulations for the Miami Heat. Toronto Raptors, you had DeRozan with 23 points, uh, 8 out of 21, and 12 out of 27 from Kyle Lowry, 36 points. Shot 3 out of 5 from the 3-point range as well. Um, the backcourt showed up. Unfortunately, the frontcourt didn't show up. Uh, Biombo, he picked up 13 rebounds and 2 block shots, so it, he did show up on the defensive end, um, that but there was so much more needed from this team's uh, front court. Uh, Patrick Patterson shoot four out of seven, uh, eight points, eight rebounds. I would still say that's still not enough. Um, Carl, two out of four, five points only. That's it. And nothing much for the bench either. No Joseph, uh, no Terrence Ross, not at least not that much. 41% from the field, 25% for the three-point range, 43 rebounds, 10 assists, which is pretty, pretty low for a team. Um, and eight turnovers, which is still pretty damn good, not turning the ball over that much. So there's a lot to improve on for the Toronto Raptors. Lucky for them, their set, game seven is at their home. So the advantage is still on them. Um, the front court needs to show up, uh, just like the back court showed up tonight. And I think it will be, they will still have a very good chance of winning. But also can be said about the Miami Heat, who have been through these situations before. At least for D-Way, at least. So that's it. We will have a Game 7 in Toronto, which will be at Sunday on ABC. Uh, so that will be the, after that will be the end of the, end of the second round and into the third, third round of the Eastern Conference Championship and the Western Conference Championship. Because we already have Oklahoma City Thunder versus Golden State. Which will be happening on on um, Monday. Next, uh, we're just waiting on the Toronto and Miami Heat. Whoever wins will face 
Cleveland Cavaliers. So that's it. Peace out.